It is the desire of God for you and me to become prosperous. But the question is, do you know how God can prosper us? That's the reason why I want to share with you this book called Rich God, Poor God. This book lies the secrets on how God can bless you and me. And the reason why God wants to bless you and me so that we can become a blessing to others. To know more, all you need to do is just go to this website or go to the nearest bookstore. Our friends from AXA informed us about how certain diseases can be detrimental to us in all aspects, the financial aspect included. Of course, we can always have those credit cards swiped in every transaction that we do, be it hospital bills or even medical expenses. But you know what? Securing a health insurance may be the best option. Here's one strong testimony that best explains why. Well, there are three main causes of cardiovascular diseases in the Philippines. The number one reason is smoking. Now, the number two reason is unhealthy diet. And the last reason is the lack of exercise. Cardiovascular diseases, according to the Department of Health and World Health Organization, are called right now non-communicable diseases. These are the following, stroke, number one, heart attack, cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease or COPD, and diabetes. So these are the five main killers in the country and for the last two decades, hindi siya nagbabago. And that is very alarming. Number two, magkano magpa-angioplasty? Magpa-bypass? How many of my patients here may stroke? Hindi papasok si wife, hindi papasok si husband. Double whammy, may sakit na si patient, wala pang sweldo. And the worst thing, those who are afflicted with non-communicable disease, wala silang pang hospital, wala silang pang check-up, wala kang pambili ng gamot. Very expensive to get sick right now in the hospital. The cost of medicines have gone into orbit. Mahal. Your family's life will become miserable. So an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. You can plan for your finances. You can plan for your retirement. You can plan for the education of your children, but you can never plan for your health. HealthMax is a health plan that provides coverage until age 100 so that you get the funds that you will be needing for necessary treatment in case you are diagnosed with a critical illness. Right now, most people die before reaching the age of 60. Particularly, this generation are dying because of non-communicable diseases, hindi nakakaabot. People are not recognizing the risk of non-communicable diseases. Aside from the cost of medicines, the lack of productivity, eh, kumamatay ka before your retirement period. HealthMax is a very affordable plan. For example, a female who is 26 years old can avail of the 1 million insurance coverage for only 1,800 per month. The maximum coverage of HealthMax is 10 million pesos, and the lowest coverage is 1 million pesos. So if, if you get sick, you have funds. If you don't get sick and there's an untimely death, you, your family can have funds. And if you don't get sick, and at the same time you live longer, you also get funds. Ang kalusugan ay kayamanan. The most loving way that you can do for your family and for yourself is to plan ahead of time. You have to make sure that you have the funds that you need in case of medical emergencies. Hi there, this is the Love Month and probably some of your couples or husband and wife are planning to start your own business or enterprise. Allow me to share with you some practical tips on how husband and wife should get into an enterprise or any type of business. Number one, there must be the principle of agreement. When you talk about agreement, husband and wife should agree on how much capital that they need to invest, aside from the capital that they need to invest, how much time, who should do what, the roles, uh, like for example, if the husband will be the one handling the money or if the wife should be the one in sales. So there must be the principle of agreement. Never get into any business or any transaction that you are probably keeping it as a secret because the foundation of relationship is trust. If there's no trust, there is no relationship. Aside from that, second tip is what you should also uh, ask yourself who are the experts at what they're doing what are your skills 
Like for example, who should handle the money? Who has the financial skills? Some people say uh, it should be the wife or it should be the husband. You know what's my answer? Who among you is more gifted in handling the money, making the money grow, and disciplined in handling the money? He or she should handle the money. It shouldn't be, uh, it's never about gender preference. It's all about who is more competent in what they're doing. And number three, I would suggest also, if you want really to get into business as a couple, make sure that you bring your business only at your workplace, but do not bring it at home. Very, very important. You need to learn also how to separate. When you come home, make sure that you don't discuss any more business uh, transaction specifically in front of your children while you got to invest your time also with your family the reason why you and I are working is not for money you and I are working is for our family we got to invest what we call as quality time quality time means undivided attention with our loved ones so these are the three practical tips that I can give you number one again uh, very important that there must be a principle of agreement that you it must everything must be transparent number two you must, uh, aside from agreement, you must know who is more gifted in probably handling the money, doing the sales. You got to put the right person in the right position. And number three, make sure that you leave the business at the workplace. Do not bring it at home. Make sure you invest quality time with your family.